Welcome to the demo of Fox Reveal, our personal path reveal assistant. What a tongue breaker. <laughs> My name is Philip, I'm from Fox Scripts, and I would love to show you how Fox Reveal really works. Maybe you saw our demo or promo trailer and you're asking yourself, does that really work that well? Yes, it does. <laughs> you simply add a source to your object, hit reveal paths, and that's all we've got to do to create a really nice path reveal. Let's see this happening. And as you can see, it reveals our paths perfectly, except these two uh, circles. These two circles haven't been triggered by our branching radius. This explains how Fox Reveal works really well. So that's our first example. Let's just hit Reveal Paths again once we edited our radius. And as you can see, it takes a little while to analyze your paths and how they are going. And as you can see now, they are revealed as well. What basically happens is Fox Reveal looks for the closest point on your paths to the source. This is in this case, this point on your path or exactly on this path. Maybe if you just hit reveal path again and change your position, this should be revealed from this point because this point is the closest point to your path, uh, to your source selected in the comp. So in this case, let's see, Fox Reveal does exactly that. It reveals your path from this point. And now everything that gets in the radius, which is represented by this little circle and can be controlled by this effect, Fox Reveal Radius, everything that gets into this radius will be triggered. Whether it's a trigger animation, we'll talk about that, or if it's another path, it will be revealed from this point and it will also be revealed from the point where this hits the path. So for example, for a circle, you can see here it hits the path and from this point it's gonna be revealed. That's an awesome algorithm. That's our core, that's the core of our product. And it's really allowing us to create beautiful reveals with just hit you two keyframes. These keyframes are added on our Fox Reveal source layer. You can see we've got these two keyframes, we can make them longer or shorter and our reveal will take exactly this time. We can even add a curve on that if we like. So it's just like a single path reveal now. And it doesn't matter how complex or simple your shapes are. Let's just choose this simple leaf stroke here. And for the sake of this tutorial, let's use the same source here, hit reveal path. And also this path will be perfectly revealed by Fox Reveal doesn't matter from where we want this to be revealed. So if we select this point here, it will start from here. Or if we select this point, it will start from here. Oh, you can see, I <laughs> accidentally select the, in the middle. And as you can see, this starts here from the middle. You can now see that we've got these dots on our path, and I would love to reveal them as well. But these shouldn't be drawn like a path, we can do that, but I don't want that. I want to let them let them pop on, just like a leaf on a on a tree. And we prepared some scale animation for that. As you can see, I just pasted this in, which is a really simple scale curve. That's just overshooting a little bit, returning back to 100%. And let's just copy this scale animation on all of the dots. As you can see, now all our dots, because the keyframes are set at frame zero, pop on right at the start of our reveal. What we can do now with Fox Reveal is the awesome use the awesome functionality of trigger animations. Now our, all our paths are processed once again, they are analyzed, and wherever uh, animation gets into the reach of our path, this animation will be triggered. It will be retimed so that it fits our path reveal and it won't be like uh, time stretched or anything. So if we, for example, stretch this out extremely, and we have extreme slow reveal, these will still be real time, okay? So they won't be slower, they won't be faster if you have a fast reveal, they will just change their timing, not their speed. That's an awesome thing you should know. And here we got another example of this organigram. We also did this for our promo trailer or our sales page. And 
As you can see, it's really simple as putting this right where you want to reveal your path from. Here it's this layer, and we got some masks that hide paths, part of the path. So we select reveal path here, and we'll reveal from this point just like it should. We've got all of these squares, which are animated scale and rotation, just like that. And we had trigger animations, and Fox Reel will do its job. And as you can see, let's just fit this. This will be revealed just like you like. You can even, these are all imported from Illustrator, these shapes, and it doesn't matter how they're organized. So, for example, in this hand drawn example, I would love to just draw a path on my own. And it doesn't really matter how they are organized. If you like, have them coming from here to here, if you're, they are coming from here to here, so it doesn't matter where the first part of your path is, or if they even, just like, just like this one, meet your other path in the middle of the shape. You can just reveal them, because Fox Reveal analyzes your paths and cares about all the timing stuff and so on. So let's just click this way. You can see here, now everything reveals nicely. Not only that, you can even choose some more interesting complex patterns with like a lot of dots that doesn't doesn't change the way Fox Reveal works. In this case, we also have to pay attention to our branching radius, so maybe we take it a little further so that this path can trigger this path. And well, this path will be triggering this path anyway, but let's see. Hit review path and more paths, of course, longer waiting times. And you can see that our radius hasn't been enough to triggering to be triggering this path. So let's just increase our radius a little bit. Hit review paths again. And as you can see, if there is already Fox Reveal applied and we hit review path again, it will just update our reveal to fit our new settings. Maybe the radius, maybe the position, it doesn't really matter. And as you can see, oops, this will be now revealed perfectly. And if we just hit all of these tech dots and apply a scale animation to this as well, just like that, and hit trigger animations, all of our path will be processed once again. And as you can see, this is an awesome reveal now of this pretty complex pattern. And not only that, you can even bake this. Let's show it on this little example. And as you can see, I prepared a lot of examples just to show how fast Fox Reveal really works. It's a really easy procedure. And as you can see, this already looks awesome. Let's just add some scale animation to this as well and trigger them as well. So they will be triggered once paths come close to them. So in this case, these are the closest paths. So these will trigger our animation. Perfect. And you can bake all of your animations. So now as you can see, we've got a whole lot of Fox Reveal expressions applied. And this is fairly complex programming code that is running here to um, be able to reveal every single path at its own speed and at its own uh, timing. But you can easily switch to the bake function of Fox Reveal and hit reveal. Now our reveals are baked. And as you can see, the expressions disappear and instead keyframes are added. And that is so awesome. I really love, and you can see also, we don't need start properties of some of these. I really don't like scripts or workflows that limit me in my work. And that's why we also spent a lot of time on our baking function that is just perfectly working with our reveal functions so that everything is baked to clean, nice, editable keyframes. And it doesn't limit itself to like simple reveals. We have here a really complex example I already imported from Illustrator. And as you can see, when you, when you import something from Illustrator, it may happen that there are several paths inside a single group. And then Fox Reveal comes along and it groups these paths so that each and every path gets its own reveal. 
So let's just try with this complex example, which is really a complex one, um, to maybe have a little more radius here to trigger also these lines here and start at the top of this. And we'll just wait this second to be revealing this really complex animation. <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, we sped the recording up a little bit just to um, limit our waiting time. But as you can see, Fox Reveal also reveals really, really complex shapes with, let's just look at the expressions, a lot, a <laughs> lot of path reveals. And as you also can see what we talked about, it will group every single path inside a group and add its own reveal, path reveal, trim path to it so that it be, can be timed individually, just like you need it. And once we take a look here at our reveal, you can see that everything reveals very, very nicely. We can easily stretch that out because that's such a big shape to like be a slower reveal. And this is actually the reveal that starts our promo trailer. Maybe you recognize these shapes from our promo trailer. It's exactly this shape that has been revealed while our promo trailer takes place. And you can see we can even bake this and yeah, and once we hit U to show all the keyframes here, you can see that this really does a lot of work for us, <laughs> timing all of these animations. So we will talk about the settings in a later tutorial. I just wanted to show you that um, this style, for example, we just traced all of these paths here. So like, be able to have a single line representing our tapered stroke, which isn't supported by After Effects natively. So we imported that from Illustrator and had some mask applied to this. We can easily create a reveal for this one as well. So just, oops, just hit, oh, we are in the bake panel. Just hit reveal paths. And as you will see, it will detect the branching between our letters, so this letter will, in the contact position here, let's see, trigger the T, this will trigger the Y, this will trigger the L, this will trigger the E, and you can easily have a really complex handwritten style reveal in seconds. This is really awesome because there are a lot of situations when you have like a hand-drawn typography and you just want to reveal it quickly and this is now the way you can do it. And easily to, to bake your, or, or to edit your, your baked keyframes, let's just bake this, bake the reveal, hit U, you have all the keyframes, and you say for the S, I want this end to be like smoother ending, just select the S, select the path points, and if you hit edit keys, you will be able to select exactly these keys belonging to the S, or maybe just the end keys of the S. So as you can see, this one is like nearly not necessary, which is the end keyframe here, but this one is the one we want to smooth out. So maybe you stretch it out, add some ease to it, just like that. And as you can see, now exactly this one is later than all the other ones, okay? You can always look at our help panel. We pay a lot of attention to our help panel, so you can easily inform yourself about every single aspect of the script, which uh, this uh, nicely designed help panel, and you can read about each and every function, click through the whole UI, and uh, see how Fox Reveal works in detail in this little help text, or in a further tutorial where we can explain the settings of Fox Reveal in detail. We hope you love Fox Reveal. It's easily combined with Fox Retimer, which just had some <laughs> UI issues here. And Fox Retimer really is a nice tool for key fr adjusting like keyframed animation. And just imagine you have baked this whole thing out, adjusted a little bit, and you want to slow down this part exactly here. You can just easily retime this with time remapping and this is where Fox Retimer and Fox Reveal beautifully play together. Like say, okay, from this point to 
this point, I'd love to stretch that out and just have it be slower in this reveal perfectly and then faster in this one and you can uh, further edit this curve beautifully. You can just apply this with Fox Retimer and it beautifully works together with the baked keyframes of Fox Reveal. So once you've baked it, you can easily edit them and you can see that now all this will be adjusted according to your time curve. So that's how Fox Reveal and Fox Retimer beautifully play together. So yeah, this is it. Have fun using Fox Reveal, using your new Path Reveal Assistant that comes to your hand very, very quickly and very, very easily on aescripts.com. So try this out, try revealing your path. And as we said in our trailer, don't waste your time, let it do the work. Thank you very much for listening. Have fun and goodbye.